think one thing we have to do is write a more… rewrite a more responsible history of what has happened in this land for a long time. Not in the last three thousand years, not in the fourteen hundred years. What people in this land have done for a long time has to be brought back. In other countries, people are studying this. If you go to… there are Lebanese people, if you… if you study in a school in Lebanon, you will read about how Indian workers, Indian sculptors, Indian elephants, Indian yogis came and built a Phoenician temple four thousand three hundred years ago in Lebanon, which is called as Baalbek, which is a phenomenal temple four thousand three hundred years ago. Some of the foundation stones are over three hundred tons and there is no granite in Lebanon. They transported it all the way from Egypt across the canal and up the mountain and put it up there. Indian elephants, workers and sculptors work. The proof, there is enough proof, but one proof is visually hanging there is lotuses in the ceiling. Indian sculptor has to put a lotus wherever he goes. Where would a Lebanese sculptor have seen a lotus? Obviously there are no lotuses there. So, how many Indian children have… forget about children, how many Indian grown-ups have heard about this? No. We only read how we were conquered, raped, looted, beaten by other people. Then if there is no pride, why would you want to recreate it? You need to understand this. A culture or a nation is just an idea. When human beings attach… take this on as an identity, attach some pride to it, it burns through one's mind and into his heart, now he wants to protect it, rise it, keep it clean, keep it wonderful. If you do not build pride into it, then people will want to avoid it. Everybody will want to avoid it. 